Imagine a future where your brain and computer can communicate directly. What would that world look like? Welcome to a thrilling exploration of Elon Musk's Neuralink, a groundbreaking venture that seeks to forever change the way we interact with technology. This innovative project aims to develop brain-computer interfaces blurring the line between human cognition and artificial intelligence. Today, we'll take a deep dive into the inception of Neuralink, its potential applications in healthcare, communication, and human augmentation, as well as the ethical and societal implications that come with it. Prepare to be fascinated by cutting-edge neuroscience and technology as we unravel the mysteries of the brain and the promise of a future where we could tap into the power of artificial intelligence right from our minds. Intriguing, isn't it? Now, allow us to guide you through the fascinating world of Neuralink. Elon Musk's ambitious venture Neuralink seeks to turn this science fiction into reality. Imagine a world where the boundaries between humans and machines blur, where our minds can directly interact with technology. This is the world that Neuralink envisions. A world where the human brain and artificial intelligence become intertwined, unlocking potentials we have only ever dreamt of. Neuralink, a neurotechnology company, is the brainchild of Elon Musk. Its mission? To develop ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interfaces. In simpler terms, it's about creating a direct channel for communication between the brain and external devices. Neuralink's ultimate goal is to enhance human cognition and capabilities, thus changing the way we interact with technology. It's not just about using our fingers to type or our voices to command, it's about using our thoughts to control. The term brain-computer interface might sound intimidating but it's essentially a system that allows direct communication between an enhanced or wired brain and an external device. Through this interface, Neuralink aims to translate your neural activity into digital signals, making it possible to control devices or even communicate just by thinking. This concept is not entirely new. Various forms of brain-computer interfaces have been used in medical settings to help people with paralysis or severe physical disabilities. However, Neuralink aims to take this a step further. They are not only targeting medical applications but also envision a future where such interfaces are used by everyone, enhancing our capabilities and changing the way we live. Neuralink's vision is grand, and the path ahead is filled with challenges. There are technological hurdles to overcome, ethical questions to answer, and societal implications to consider. Yet, the potential benefits, from treating neurological disorders to enhancing human cognition, make this venture worth exploring. But how does Neuralink plan to make this dream a reality? Let's dive deeper. One of the key challenges in making this a reality lies in the implantation process. So how exactly does Neuralink plan to merge man and machine? Let's dive into it. Neuralink's brain chip, also known as the Link, is surgically implanted into the brain by a highly precise robot designed to navigate around the sensitive structures of the brain. The robot inserts flexible threads, each thinner than a human hair, into specific areas of the brain. These threads carry electrodes that can monitor and stimulate brain activity. The process is highly invasive and requires great precision to avoid damaging neural tissue. Of course, such a procedure comes with a host of safety considerations. The risk of infection, tissue damage, and the long-term effects of having a foreign body implanted into the brain are all factors that Neuralink must carefully evaluate. To address these concerns, Neuralink is developing advanced surgical techniques and protocols. The goal is to make the procedure as safe and as minimally invasive as possible, akin to something like LASIK eye surgery. Now let's talk about the ethical implications. The idea of implanting a chip into the human brain raises a myriad of ethical questions. What happens if the technology malfunctions? Who has access to the data collected by the chip? Could this technology be used for malicious purposes? These are all questions that need to be addressed as we move forward in the development and application of this technology. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of Neuralink's technology are significant. For instance, it could enable individuals with paralysis to regain control of their limbs or those suffering from neurological disorders to regain lost functions. In essence, the implantation process is a critical step in the journey towards merging man and machine. It's a delicate balance of innovation and caution pushing the boundaries of what's possible while ensuring the safety and ethical treatment of individuals involved. This revolutionary procedure opens the door to numerous potential applications. It's an exciting, albeit complex, frontier that we're stepping into, one that could fundamentally reshape our understanding of the human brain and its interaction with technology. 
The potential applications of Neuralink technology are vast and varied. It's a leap into a future where our brains could potentially directly interface with machines. But what does this mean in practical terms? Let's start with healthcare. Imagine a world where neurological disorders from Parkinson's to epilepsy could be managed or even eliminated. Neuralink's brain-computer interface has the potential to make this a reality by directly interacting with the neurons responsible for these conditions. This could open doors to treatment options that were previously unimaginable. But the applications don't stop there. Neuralink could also revolutionize the way we communicate. Picture this. You think of a message, and it's instantly sent to a friend's device, no typing required. This mind-to-mind -mind communication could make our interactions more immediate and personal, and could be particularly life-changing for those with speech or mobility impairments. Moreover, Neuralink's technology could also lead to human augmentation. This might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but the potential to enhance our cognitive abilities is a real possibility. We could potentially increase our memory capacity, improve our concentration, or even learn new skills at an accelerated pace. At the heart of these applications are real people whose lives could be significantly improved. Consider patients with paralysis, for example. Neuralink could potentially give them a new lease on life by allowing them to control external devices, like computers or wheelchairs, using only their thoughts. And it's not just about restoring lost functions, it's about providing opportunities for a better quality of life. However, as with all revolutionary technologies, Neuralink is not without its challenges and concerns. The road to integrating our brains with computers is fraught with challenges and concerns. As we stand on the precipice of this new frontier, we must acknowledge the complex ethical, privacy, and societal issues that Neuralink technology presents. On the ethical front, we grapple with the question of consent. Who decides if and when a person should receive this technology? What about those who cannot give informed consent, such as children or individuals with cognitive impairments? These are questions that demand thoughtful deliberation. Privacy concerns are also paramount. With our thoughts potentially becoming data points, how do we ensure the security of this intimate information? We must develop robust safeguards to protect against misuse and maintain the sanctity of our innermost thoughts. Societal implications loom large as well. Will access to Neuralink technology create a divide between those who can afford to enhance their cognitive abilities and those who cannot? We must strive to ensure that this technology is accessible and beneficial to all, not just a privileged few. Looking ahead, the possibilities of Neuralink are as vast as they are exciting. Imagine a future where individuals with neurological disorders regain control of their bodies, or where anyone can learn a new language or skill in an instant. The potential advancements in brain-computer interfaces could forever change the way we live, learn, and interact with the world around us. Societal acceptance of Neuralink will be a journey, not an event. As with any groundbreaking technology, it will require education, transparency, and ongoing dialogue to foster understanding and trust. The evolution of human-machine interaction is at our doorstep. As we move forward, we must do so with careful consideration, balancing the incredible potential of this technology with the profound responsibility it carries. The future of Neuralink and brain-computer interfaces is a thrilling prospect, full of potential and challenges that could redefine the human experience. Neuralink represents the intersection of neuroscience and artificial intelligence. This revolutionary project is not merely about implanting a chip in the brain, it's a bold endeavor that merges the intricate complexities of human cognition with the raw computational power of AI, creating a fusion that could redefine our understanding of consciousness itself. Throughout our exploration of Neuralink, we've seen its potential to transform healthcare, revolutionize communication, and even augment our own cognitive abilities. It's a testament to the boundless possibilities that arise when we dare to venture beyond the known horizons of science and technology. But it's important to remember that Neuralink is not the end, but rather a beginning. It's a stepping stone towards a future where humans and AI collaborate seamlessly. A future where the mysteries of the mind are not just understood, but harnessed and amplified. As we stand on the brink of this new era, one thing is certain. The future of the human mind is indeed a thrilling frontier to explore.